fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. close of the Civil War, homestead laws were passed for the western United States, and a great wave of emigration swept into the new country. This meant the end of the open range, and the cattlemen fought the invasion with every means at their disposal. It was not until the masked rider of the plains started his great fight for justice that an end was put to violence and bloodshed. He proved to both factions there was plenty of room for everyone, and led farmers and ranchers united toward the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're on the trail of night riders. There's going to be trouble. I am Silver. Away! In the dim light of a shaded lantern, Jim Fletcher watched his wife Caroline as she sang the baby to sleep. The crude rocking chair creaked, and the wind drifting through the chinks in the homesteader's sod cabin flickered the flame on the wick. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. You ain't afraid one bit, are you, Caroline? There. I reckon he'll sleep quiet now. Put him in his cradle. So, you made a right nice cradle out of nothing for him, Jim. There, sleep, baby. No, Jim, I'm not afraid. This is open country. We have the right to build a house here. The government said so. They're calling us nesters, Caroline. Homesteaders. We are homesteaders, and we've got a right to be. I... What is it? I thought I heard something outside. Wait. I'm going to the door. I've got my gun, Wait, and I'm. Jim. Not with the lamp lighted. Whoever it is would see you plain. Open the door, Nestor. Jim. Who's out there? Open the door. We want to parley with you. Open it up, Pano, or we'll bust it down. Stand away from that door. No, or... Jim. Shooting won't do any good. There must be many of them out there. Yeah, I reckon we might as well face it. Well, who are you and what do you... Oh. Oh, you're still here, huh? You got a warning once before, Fletcher. This is our range, and we figure on keeping it ours. You were told to clear out, and you're still here. Cowards. What? You heard me. I called you cowards, all of you. Ma'am, if you've got any say-so in this house, you'd better advise your husband to pull up stakes and head somewhere else. it would save trouble all around. Jim and I will never leave here. We picked this home, and here we stay. You're cowards. Wearing those hoods over your faces so no one will know who you are. You believe in mob violence and taking the law into your own hands. Let's sure if you I haven't all... finished yet. The law says this is open country. The law says we got a right to settle here. Never mind what the law says. We say vamoose. The other squatters packed up and left. You do likewise. No. This is a free country. You don't own it. It's free for everyone alike. I had enough of this. Never mind the woman. Get Fletcher. Fletcher, there's no use talking anymore. Jim believes as I do. You were told to keep out of this, That's man. enough. 
Caroline and me agree. Hoods or no hoods, we're staying right here. A uh, stubborn gent most often gets a bullet, Fletcher. We built our place here, and here we stay. No mob can drive us out, and no threats of bullets can drive us out. It's not a threat, mister. You better leave me. Like Caroline says, this is a free country. We got a right to settle where we like, and we're doing it. That's your final word, Fletcher? It is, and you can do what you like. So be it. Here's our final word. <laughs> Look, Tonto, there's a lighted cabin down there. Uh, shot come from that way. You think it was those men wearing hoods? That's right. And they're gone now. They rode past us on the trail. They're in a hurry, too. I don't like it, Kimosabe. Many shots usually means a shooting scrape. But just one shot? Yeah, in the middle of the night. Uh, Something definite about one shot, Tonto, means there's no need for more. Usually means someone has died. It's plenty bad. That's right. Here's a cabin. Right up. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <sighs> That sounds like trouble. A woman and a baby, Tonto. Come on. It was my fault. It was... Can we help you? They shot him. He's dead. He... Mad man. The others wore hoods. I suppose you're just as bad as they are. I should have let Jim shoot. But I can make up for it now. I can kill you the way they killed him. Him, him not dead. What? What's that? Him not dead. Him hurt bad, but maybe Tonto fix him. Injun. Injun, you're not lying to me. Jim is... He's really alive. Tonto tells the truth. I'll take that gun of yours now. Don't worry. We'll do all we can. The baby. Why, the baby stopped crying. He... He's looking up at you, masked man. Oh, I... I feel as if you and the engine are two people I can really trust. Engine, what does Jim need? You build big fire, get plenty of water, plenty bandage. We get bullet out, and we... a good baby. There, there. Jim. Jim Fletcher, you get back right inside. You're still weak as a kitten. I'm fine, Caroline. I just want to sit out in the sun a bit. There. You're so pale. You sure it's all right? My legs are just wobbly, that's all. Oh, Jim, it's lucky for us the masked men and the engine come along. I, I thought sure I'd lost you forever. I reckon it was mighty close. I've been wanting to say something to you, Jim. Yeah? Well, I, I did a lot of talking about this being a free country, but our right to build a home out here. That's true. We stuck here when all the rest of the homesteaders got scared away. You wanted to go, too, didn't you, Jim? Well, I was thinking of you and the baby. If I hadn't talked so big, you'd never have been shot at. Those hooded riders would never have pulled trigger. I reckon that's true, too. I, I want to know how you feel about it. I've had plenty of time to think myself. All those weeks while you were getting over your wound. All the talk I made about free country, right to live, and, and, and so on. All they got us so far is a bullet in you. Now that you're better, I'm ready to pull up stakes and get out before you're shot at again. Caroline. I knew I was wrong when, when I thought you were dead, Jim. All that matters to me is my family. Baby, you. Maybe we should leave. Go someplace to help me. Oh, you're alive, Fletcher. What the? Jim, he's wearing a hood. That bullet didn't take, huh? Who are you? Get that hood off I and I reckon I'll... what you need is more lead, Fletcher. And this time you won't get better, Sally. No, wait, don't shoot. Don't. My husband has no gun. That's too bad. Better say your prayers fast, Fletcher. I'm lifting my gun right now. Oh! Oh! The masked man. I heard him from inside the cabin, Fletcher. My hand. You heard my hand. Your hand isn't touched. I hit your gun. No, Mister, I just... this ain't none of your business. And don't... Masked. A masked man. Come on, horse, get moving. Look at him raise the dust. Well, you knocked his rifle clean out of his hand, masked man. It's twice you saved my husband's life. This time he would have been killed for sure. They're cowards, Mrs. Fletcher. But because they believe in mob violence, they're apt to be more dangerous than rattlesnakes. Yeah, a rattler at least gives you a warning before he strikes. Fletcher, before I stepped out of the cabin, I heard your wife ask you a question. Huh? She asked if you wanted to pull up stakes, if you wanted to leave. What's your answer? Yes, Jim, this proves I was wrong. We must get away from here. We must. Caroline, I say no. But, Jim, you believe... I believe in standing up for your rights, Caroline. L like you said, it, it's a free country, and we got a right to stay here. Maybe it took a bullet to make up my mind, but now we're staying. No matter what happens, we're staying. Fletcher, I knew you'd say that. 
Good for you. This trail is easy to follow, Toto. Ah, him plenty scared when you shoot guns. Straight across the prairie and along the ridge and up over this rise. He got his rifle. Hold on to it, Toto. We need it. Ah, we go over top of hill now. Right. Steady, boy. Oh, scout. Oh, fella. That's oh. as we suspected, Kimosabe. You see that? Ah, it's ranch house down in valley. Yes. The man who wore a hood and fired this rifle came from that ranch. His track short plain. Not right. The ranchers are the ones who wanted to drive off Fletcher. But I don't think most of them are as cold-blooded as this man. The one who leave trail? Fletcher was shot once. This afternoon, he'd have been shot point-blank if I hadn't been close. Ah, uh, most ranchers, good men, and not do that. Let's go, Kimosabe. And what we do? Keep riding. We'll find out who those hooded riders are. Get him up, scout! Come on, Silver! Reckon they're all here, Jasper. It's about time, Crowder. Now remember, don't tell anybody about the lone ranger shooting your rifle out of your hands. We don't want anybody knowing about that mass, Jen. Or that you try to get Fletcher again. All right, Jens. Get your horses and come on inside where we can talk. Jasper, what's all this about? Howdy, Cheryl. Come on in, Jens. Crowder come and told me. I don't approve of this, Jasper. Oh, Cheryl, we can talk inside. Yeah, might as well, seeing as they come all this way. But we weren't taking on holding a meeting for another couple of weeks. Yeah, sit down, gents. Daly, Hodgkins. Take a chair, Joe. Yeah. Mind if we do. All right, gents. I reckon you've been put to some trouble getting over here. So I'll come direct to the point. I call this meeting because we still got a nester. Yeah. Hey, what's that? Jasper, we drove them all out. So we figured, Cheryl. So we figured. But Crowder was up hunting for strays. He was riding the winter range and he saw a nester. Is that a fact, Crowder? Go on, tell him. Yeah. Gents, I reckon we got to put on our hoods and ride out. I didn't get up very close to the cabin, but I seen the smoke and got near enough uh, for a look. It's Fletcher. Fletcher? What? I don't Fletcher. believe it. Well, I tell you just what You I... shot Fletcher, Crowder. We was all standing there. We saw it. He's dead. Now, well, look, Cheryl, Oh, I... wait. Hold, hold on there. Let me explain this. Crowder isn't so good on talking. Yeah, and maybe he's a little too good on shooting. Huh? Jasper, I'll tell you this straight. We don't like nesters. But we don't like murder, neither. You're right, Sheriff. We right. went along that night to scare Fletcher, so he'd pack up and get out like the others done. But the way you shot the oh, boy... Oh, wait, could... Cheryl. You're not turning soft about a nester, are you? Well, that's our winter range. We use that range for our cows, all of us. Now, I'm just saying we'd have liked it better if Crowder hadn't shot, Savvy. And what's more, he shot without giving Fletcher a chance to see him while Fletcher was talking to you. Why, you ordinary skunk, you can't say that about me. No, I am saying it, Crowder. Anybody talks to me like that better reach for his gun. All right, if it's gunfighting you want, you'll kill him. All right, stop it. Stop stop it right now. Stop it. Well, that's better. You're both acting loco. All right, Jasper. I'll let it pass. Yeah, if you don't... Shut up, Crowder. That's more like it. It's no use quarreling. We got more important business on our hands. Jens, Crowder was giving it to you straight. Fletcher's alive. We got to get rid of him. There's no two ways about it. Jasper, it sounds like you're sure. I'm positive. And get this. You gents may not approve of shooting, but we've already gone that far and we can't back down now. We've got to settle it. We got to rid our range of nesters. Shooting, huh? Which you mean is murder. Never mind the fancy name, Cheryl. And never mind the way you feel about shooting. When a thing's to be done, it's got to be done, that's all. Sure, Jasper, but... Oh, wait, I'm I'm asking you straight. Would any other way work? Uh, Well, I reckon you're right. We can't back out now. Sure. But there's one thing I'm thankful for, and I figure that goes for the rest here, excepting you and Crowder, Jasper. I'm thankful we wear hoods so that none of us are known to anybody. What in... A gun! Crowder, that's your rifle. Well, I reckon there's one fellow that knows who we are. The gent who tossed that rifle through the window. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
now to continue our story. The ranger and Tonto followed the trail of the hooded man and learned who the mob leaders were. After the ranger threw the rifle through the window as a warning to the ranchers, he rejoined Tonto near the ranch. They sat their horses in the moonlight, watching and waiting. I got a good look at all of them, Tonto. Everyone. And who feller fire shot, huh? man named Crowder. I think he's top hand on Jasper's spread. Crowder fired at Fletcher both times, but he's working for Jasper. Jasper, big chief? Make no mistake about it. Jasper's the one who gives the orders. Crowder uses his gun, but Jasper uses his brain. You see others too, huh? Funny, Kimosabe. Every important rancher in the section all gathered in Jasper's ranch house to talk about one single nester. Ah. There they come, Tonto. They're leaving the house. We'll wait till they board the creek, and I'll drop my rope over the last man. They won't notice one of them is missing. At least not until for a while. They come to water now. Stay low. I'm swinging the rope. Any boy. Any silver. Quiet, fella. Come on, get up there. Get up there. Quiet, boy. There, man, in back. You just make him out. Now! Never mind your guns, mister. I want to talk with you. Hey, get that rope. Pull for me. I can't reach my gun anywhere. Now sit your horse easy. There. All right, Cheryl. You can rejoin the others later. Now, listen, you... Hold on. You call me by name. Who are you? I threw Crowder's rifle in the window of the ranch house. I saw you and all the others. You and Loman? You and I are going to have a talk, Cheryl. I'm going to convince you to leave Fletcher alone. You talk like a marshal. It's dark. Who are you? Why, him, Lone Ranger. We ought to be up with the rest of your party soon, Cheryl. I reckon so, mister. Be watch for him. Yes, man, I feel lower than a sleeping coyote. We used our hoods to hide us when we were doing something against the law. You use your mask to help the law. Then you aren't going to get Fletcher? You explained a couple of things to me, mister. I reckon us ranchers just never saw the side of them homesteaders. They got rights, too. This is America, Cheryl. Every man has rights. To tell you straight, most of us didn't hold up with that shooting. We were glad to hear that Fletcher was alive. But still, you were going to drive him out. Mask man, once you start going again to the law, it's hard to stop. As soon as we'd started to drive out the homesteaders, well, one thing led to another. There'll be no murder. I'm with you. Never did like Jasper, anyhow. Did you know that Crowder lied to you? Huh? Yes. Crowder tried to murder Fletcher again this afternoon. So that's where you got his rifle. Why, that ornery hound, he claimed that Jasper he was... knew what he had done. Say no more, Miss man. Say no more. We there are others. It. Hey, Chance! Hey, Cheryl! What happened to you? Who's with you? Chance! Chance, listen to me. I got something to say. This masked man and this engine are friends. Are you sure they believe you, Cheryl? Don't worry, mister. They're just as sick of this whole business as I am. Before you know it, we'll all be riding back to call on Jasper. All of us, including you. Crowder! Crowder! Yeah, Jasper? On your horse! Train along! Get up there, come on. Keep pounding. What's the galloping for? I got cut from the ranch. They're all back there. Huh? Cheryl, Hoskins, and the rest, all of them. And the engine, the Lone Ranger with them. What? I happened to be out by the corral. I seen them come, but I got away. There's only one answer to that. The Lone Ranger, huh? Was they friendly? You're dumb maverick, of course they were friendly. It's as plain as a nose on your face. Those armies are backing out on us. They come back to stop us from getting rid of Fletcher. They're going soft, that's what. Well, shooting isn't exactly legal, Jasper. Not that it bothered us none. We ain't shooting, Fletcher. No? I got other plans. Where's the cattle butcher now? The cattle? Why, they're up near the spring above the canyon. All right, Crowder, that's where we're heading. And watch out when we ride up the canyon. I don't want to get too close to Fletcher's cabin. Jim! Jim! Uh, Caroline, what's wrong? Why are you sitting up? Listen. I don't hear a thing. I... I thought I heard galloping horses. Now I'm not so sure. I don't hear a thing. It might have been some stray cows. Sometimes they ramble. Part of Jasper's herd. Jasper's and the rest. All the ranchers around here mix their cattle. Yeah, it's open range. Open range. Open to everyone but homesteaders like us. If we were near an army post, we'd get protection from the ranchers. Well, we got the lone ranger. I reckon he can handle them. I don't know, Jim. No need to worry. Get back to sleep. The baby's asleep. And I'm going to be likewise in just a second. Get to sleep, Caroline. Jim, there's something in the night that makes me nervous. Hmm? It, it 
It's like I woke up from a dream. A bad dream, but but I didn't dream. Nothing's gonna happen. I'll get back to sleep. All right. I'll get to sleep. All right, but I wish I didn't feel as if, as if something's going to happen. Something terrible. <laughs> <laughs> there they are, Crowder. Must be 5,000 head. Easy, that. Get them moving, they could do plenty of damage. Yeah, they're acting kind of spooky. Yeah. Look at that longhorn yonder. He's itching to travel. Yeah, he's plenty spooky. Hey! Hey, now what did you do that for? They almost stampeded. Uh, just wanted to see you. It won't take much to start this herd. You haven't told me what you got planned, but I'm beginning to catch on. I figured you would, Crowder. Recollect what I said about Cheryl and the rest, and the Lone Ranger? Yeah. I heard enough to convince me the rest of the ranchers have gone soft, Savvy. That masked army has got to believe it's all right for Fletcher to nest on our range. Yeah, we could go down there and put enough bullets into Fletcher to finish it off, Prado. Oh, you fool. If Cheryl and the others are against shooting, they'd just as soon put a murder charge on us. What we need is some smart way to get rid of them nesters. Jasper, that Fletcher cabin is set right smack in the middle of the canyon. Uh -huh. Get a herd of cattle pouring through that canyon, Crowder. There won't be enough left of that cabin to notice. <laughs> yeah. When cattle go on the prod, they tromp a wood so fine you couldn't find a splinter big enough to pick your teeth with. <laughs> it's a good idea, only... Uh... Only what? I don't notice any strings. And cattle might miss the cabin. There's enough space on the sides. They might, but they won't. Yeah? Who's to certify that? Me. You and me, Crowder. Huh? Them steers won't miss that cabin because we'll point them straight for it. We'll get them moving and keep them moving. Fire shots and shouting? No, no. No shots and no yelling. But how are but you... nothing. If there's too much noise, it'll wake Fletcher. They'll clear out of that cabin. I don't want that. Yeah, sure not. But how can you start a herd moving without... Crowder, a... have you ever seen what happens when there's a lightning storm? When the prairie catches on fire near a herd of cows? Sure, they run like blazes. But there isn't any lightning, and there isn't any dry grass, neither. No, no, Crowder. But there's us, and I got these. Torches, huh? Yeah. That cloth at the top is soaked with kerosene. Here, take yours. Now we'll light them. That's right. Now up behind them cows. Just crowd them close. They don't like it. The smoke's going right at them. Here's fire in your face, Longhorn. He's moving plenty fast. The others are starting to crowd along. Come on, horse. Wave your torch, Crowder. They're beginning to raise the dust. Yeah. Straight down the canyon. Get moving. It's building, Jasper. It's a stampede for fire. Keep driving, Crowder. Right straight to the cabin. At it and over it. Funny we ain't seen hide in the hair Jasper, mass man. Trail come this way. We got our cattle round about here. They saw him mosey near the spring above that canyon. Well, it'll be dawn pretty soon. Ought to be able to get the lay of the land and figure We're out. We're not fine, Jasper. Maybe there come trouble. Oh, no. Cheryl, you men stop right up. Oh, oh, they won't come. Quiet. Quiet, all of you. What's up, mass man? Everyone, listen. I don't hear nothing. Um, me hear them. That cattle. That's what I thought. Cattle moving fast. And look. Look out there. Well, I'll be... Them's torches, mister. Looks like somebody's stampeding them cattle with fire. Must be a big herd from the sound. Now, why would any... Mister, it's the canyon. Uh -huh. Them cattle are heading straight down the canyon, straight for Fletcher's place. So that's it. There's no time to waste. We've got to swing that herd. It ain't possible, mister. They'll stamp you to death. They're moving like an avalanche. We've got to turn the herd. Come on, Cheryl. Come on, you men. Follow me. Get them up. Get them up. <laughs> Get them up, Scout! After them, Silver! Get up, Lord! 
Shoot! Shoot! They're after you! Hey, shoot! It's light enough, Toto. Now it's our turn. Don't shoot! I give up! Don't shoot! My hand! You come mighty near breaking my hand! Pull up, Jasper. You and Carter are coming back. You're making a call on Fletcher with Cheryl and the rest of the ranchers. Come on. Your message is through in the West. This is a free country. <laughs> Mighty near dawn, Caroline. We can see them plain. It's Jasper and Cheryl and the whole crowd of them. Jim, them cattle woke us up, but I can't understand what these men had to do with it. There, baby, sleep. I reckon they tried to stampede them cows right over us. I reckon they figure on using the other direct message That's it. now. The boys asked me to do the talking. Well, looks like you got enough to make us listen whether we want to or not. Maybe you don't understand, Fletcher. <laughs> We're your friends now. <laughs> friends? With Jasper and Crowder with you, that's hard to believe. I reckon the sun ain't really up enough for you to tell you, man, but... Jasper and Crowder are tied up, their hands behind their backs. They tried to stampede them cattle, and they'll go to jail for it. They'll go to jail? Yes, Fletcher. It was a mass man set us straight. This is big country. Plenty of space for all of us. From now on, we're friends. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, look at the little fella laugh. <laughs> I reckon he knows we're friends, huh? <laughs> I, I think he does, Mr. Sheriff. I think he does. The sun's coming up. For the first time since we come out here, it's shining on a free country. A real free country. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.